All right, today we're looking at the Eoshin Gemini 2100 dual 80 watt charger. This was uh, sourced through banggood.com. And uh, what we're gonna do is give you a rundown of its features, um, kind of give our initial impressions of the charger and uh, what we have found on uh, our initial charge tests. So let's start with a breakdown of what comes with the charger. All right, as you see everything laid out here, uh, this is the retail box, the charger, um, what also comes with it is um, your cables. You have an AC power cable. You have a DC input cable. We have a cable that apparently has no uh, no uh, use for this charger as is. We're given an XT60 output lead. A T-plug or Dean's output lead and two 2S to 6S balance adapters. Also included is a, uh, a nice manual. It's actually better than your average uh, Chinese to English manual. It does go through all of the menu features, all of the buttons and the functions, the battery chemistries that uh, this charger will support, and uh, some basic information on the back. The charger itself, is uh, a decent uh, compact unit. On the back you see we have our DC input and our AC input as well as some temp sensor inputs which are not provided with the charger. On the side you see the basic specs for input, output, various cells. You do have cooling fans, inlet and an outlet uh, on each side. And on the front we have our basic buttons for functioning on the LCD screen. You have LEDs to tell you which channel you're on, your balance port, and your channels. All right, I want to start out by taking a look at the, the way the charger came to us. This is the retail box that it came in. Uh, as you can see, it is a little dented up. Um, it, the way it was shipped was the, the charger is in a, in a bag inside this box, and then the box is wrapped in foam, and then it was put into a plastic shipping bag. Uh, it was a little disappointing because that, that didn't really protect the retail box too much. Obviously taking the, the trip all the way from China here to the U.S., uh, it, 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 there's, there's a likelihood that it's going to get some damage, and you can see that from the box. To power up the charger, there's no power switch. You just simply input your, uh, your power plug of choice. Your DC plug is, is rather short, but that would plug into the, the top port or the AC cable with the power supply plugs into the bottom and then you plug your wall connector into the wall. You never want to plug in both at the same time with power sources because when the AC power is plugged in you will have a back feed of, of voltage to the DC channel so never have them both plugged in at the same time. All right we'll go ahead and power on the charger using the AC adapter. So we're going to simply plug it into our our wall power source. And you see it it turns on and boots up. The LCD is is a fairly bright blue so it's easy to see in the shop and out in the sun. You can see the basic menu in. We have the LED that's showing us we're on channel 1. If we flip it over it'll show us on channel 2 and allow us to scroll through our our battery programs, save and load uh, data, choose our battery type. One additional nice feature to this is that it does have a lithium battery meter where it'll measure the voltage. We don't have a battery hooked up right now, but it will show you the individual cell voltage of your battery. So if you do not have a standalone voltage meter, it's another option. So we'll switch back to channel one. Now we want to plug in our, our battery leads. So our balance port goes into here, and one of my things I'm not sure I like about the charger is the balance lead goes flush with the surface. So when you go to pull this balance lead back out, it's very hard to grab onto the housing, so you end up having to pull on the wires. So I'd, I'd like to see that popped out just a little bit further so you're not stressing the wires when pulling them out. Our banana leads plug in and hold firmly into the, the channel port as well. Now we have the option to just charge a battery, but if we scroll through, we see we also have a balance option, a fast charge option, a storage charge option, and a discharge option. 
Now, it's always best to balance charge our lipos, so we're going to switch over to balance charge. We'll plug our battery in. We have a little 2S lipo battery that's set at storage charge right now. So, we know we're on balance. We hit enter. We want to set our amperage rate. So we're going to bring this down to a very mild 1C charge. And since it is 2S, we hit enter again, select 2S, push and hold start. It beeps. It wants you to confirm your settings. Hit enter. Now the fan comes on right away, but as it senses the internal temperature, it will turn that fan on and off as needed. So you can see right now it's showing how the amperage rating that it's charging at, it's slowly working itself up to one amp and showing the voltage of the battery pack. To use our status buttons, we can jump over and see that the cells are reading at 3.9 volts each. And at the bottom it shows uh, that it's doing a balance charge, the minutes and seconds it's been charging, and how many milliamps it's put in. Now if we wanted to start up another pack, all we'd do is switch our channel over to the channel, channel B, or channel 2, and we could start going through the menus for what we want to charge on this side. So a really great feature being able to independently control the channels of the charger. All right, let's look at our pros and cons for this charger. The pros, we love that it's an AC-DC power input. Uh, it, it limits what you have to have as far as a separate power supply if you're on the bench. It still allows you to charge at the field, whether you have DC power or AC power at the field. It's a great feature dual channels. It's awesome to get a small charger like this having two channels that you can independently charge multiple battery chemistries with. You can start one up on a lithium polymer battery and then charge your, your uh, nickel metal hydride uh, transmitter pack all at the same time. You don't have to wait for one to finish to switch over. Dual 80 watts power as well. It's not shared. It's 80 watts per channel. It's a lot of charging power compared to your 50 watt char chargers that are out there. Some of the cons. Again, didn't like the, uh, the limited shipping packaging. I think they could do a better job on that. Also, it's limited. To, the discharge is limited to five watts. That's a very slow discharge on on even a three cell battery. So it's not going to be the charger you bring your fully charged batteries home and discharge them at. It does a great job balancing, but it's best to do a storage charge by bringing them up instead of trying to charge them down. So what are our final thoughts? We think this is a great charger for someone just getting into an electric setup. It's gonna give them a variety of options as far as the types of batteries. It's got the dual channels for, for someone needing to charge multiple packs or different types of packs at one time. It's a great option to have the AC-DC charger. The guys that have been in it for a while with more advanced setups, this might be a back, good backup charger or something they use on their low end setups, but it's not gonna have some of the advanced features people are looking for with uh, internal resistance, um, higher wattage, higher power, 24 volt power supplies type of thing. So, for the advanced guys who already have chargers, this might not necessarily be something they're looking at. But for the guy just looking to get a, a good value intro charger, this might be something for them to look at. If you want to check it out, we got the link to Banggood down at the, the in the description. We also have a link to our website where we have a more in-depth write-up on the features of this charger and our thoughts on it. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And uh, Stay tuned. We'll uh, continue to use this charger. We'll try it out the field. We'll give it a good run. And if we have some more thoughts, we'll do a follow-up review um, after we've had more chance to check it out. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.